I didn't even know cosplay was a thing when I was younger, so it's something that I kind of stumbled into and then fell in love with. So, I mean, follow your dreams. You never know what job may or may not exist for you yet. This Organized Chaos video is brought to you by GEMS Art Studio. GEMS Art Studio is an online store that allows access to prints that you can use for most anything, obviously as just a picture, or as a wallpaper, or as a bookmark, or anything you can think of. You can find GEMS Art Studio at etsy.com slash shop slash GEMS Art Studio. This video is also brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. Hi, so your name is, I don't want to assume how that's pronounced, is it Oddfell, Odeffel? Um, yes, so I am Oddfell Cosplay. I do lots of cosplay, I do comic content online, as well as like a plethora of other projects. So, um, you know, I saw you at um, Beginner's Cosplay and you told us that you made the crown you're wearing right now. Would you like to tell us anything about how you made that? Yes, so this crown is 3D printed and then I went over it with automotive filler primer and then um, car paint because I feel like a lot of times car paint has a really nice rich sheen to it and sometimes you don't get in spray paint. Um, and then I went over it with some black acrylic to dull it down and match my costume. So uh, do you have anything you would like to say to people that are trying to get into cosplay that weren't at your presentation earlier? Um, I would say that first and foremost, there's nothing wrong with starting out purchasing costumes or, you know, even purchasing costumes down the line when you, you know, have made a whole bunch under your belt, uh, as well as starting out with thrifting and altering. That's how I learned to sew. It's extremely helpful to start with the base and just learn the baby steps your way in. Um, not everything has to look top tier at first. Like, just jump in and have fun. So you also talked about original designs and you showed us your, I want to say it was Kyogre? Yes. So do you have anything you would like to say about making original designs and about how like you brainstorm and such? I would say don't be afraid to sketch it and sketch it and sketch it again and trash a couple designs or even not be afraid to change the design once you've started making it because it might not look exactly how you want it. I went through so many iterations with that design and heck even made some armor pieces both for the legs and for the shoulders that I ended up not liking and not using. Um, there's nothing wrong with playing around with it and being a little more fluid and being okay with changing your design half the time. Okay. So, I know you told us that um, you ended up doing your first cosplay with some friends because you wanted to go as characters from Death yes. Note. So, when did you decide that you wanted to do cosplay like a more long-term thing? Just that. So, I would say probably 2015 or 16. Um, 2014 and 15 were my first years going to conventions. And then by like 16-ish, um, I started doing photo shoots, and then from photo shoots, I started just really enjoying the process of collaborating with photographers and making these characters come to life. And at that point, I was like, okay, I want to take this more seriously because I want the photos to look better. And then from there, I kind of just snowballed and me trying to really make something magical with cosplay. Okay. So do you have anything you would like to tell newcomers and possibly even oldcomers about wigs and you know how to use wigs how to style wigs if you know if you need to alter wigs stuff about wigs <laughs> um i would say uh lace fronts will be your best friend uh lace fronts have become so much more accessible than when i first started when i first started you had to get like human hair from like a specific website for like a hundred dollars now you can get a good lace front for like 40 bucks on amazon this one is from amazon it was like 50 um and the hairline looks great because it's lace um uh, always use something to glue down the lace so that we are not shifting around throughout the day. Uh, I usually use like got to be glued gel. Also styling wigs, you can use got to be glued. You can use Elmer's glue. Um, don't let wigs intimidate you. They're a lot more uh, accessible now, so feel free to jump in and dabble with a lot more um, complicated wig designs. Do you think cosplay is going anywhere? Are you excited about anything? Um, I'm very excited. I'm glad things are opening back up. I was getting a little stir crazy not being able to do as many events and see people and be out in the convention scene. Um, I hope conventions stick around. I hope we see kind of a renaissance for it coming out of the pandemic. I know a lot of people discovered cosplay during the pandemic when we were all locked inside. So I'm kind of excited to see a bunch of fresh new blood coming into the cosplay scene. What do you feel like you get out of cosplay? Um, I think it's really rewarding for me. 
um, I really have a good time painting and sculpting and doing that kind of stuff. And I never really connected with like pottery and stuff like that. I was like, oh, it's just a lot of work and I don't want like pottery sitting around my house. So getting into cosplay <laughs> is a really fun um, artistic outlet for me, as well as um, like a performance one. Like it's really fun to be Wanda and walk around and like the kids' faces light up. And it's something really magical where you get to combine kind of like performance arts as well as um, physical arts. Even if you're not making everything, just being in costume is a really magical. Do so you have an art house. background? Um, kind of, yeah. I didn't major in art or anything, but I've always been very, like, active into, like, painting and drawing and stuff ever since I was a kid. So. Okay. And you were talking about during your lecture about the uh, courtesy aspects, and I, I kind of like just a quick recap of that so that yeah. we have an opportunity to include that. Especially, there's a lot of new cosplayers who've never been to a con before, so I think re reintroducing courtesy is an idea is really important. Things like if you're in body paint, you know, seal it. No one wants body paint on their costumes as well as like, don't just go up and touch people's props or costumes. You don't know if it's fragile. You don't know if they're uncomfortable with that. I've heard nightmare stories from people of just other people <laughs> touching their stuff and breaking it. Um, oh. As well as if you're new and you're going to start shooting, it can be exciting and you can get kind of lost in the sauce a little bit and just follow a photographer somewhere. But make sure you do the buddy system. Don't follow someone if you don't have people with you. Just common sense safety stuff like that um it can be fun but it can also be a little chaotic so just always have your wits about you and you know honestly buddy system is the biggest thing i could suggest uh for new cosplayers is your income from uh, uh modeling or a little bit of both um i was kind of stunted a little bit with the pandemic um but i i make enough money on cosplay and on my modeling work to fund my cosplay so I, I'm not full time yet, but I'm enough that it justifies me making costumes. So that's really fun. Oh, it, it, it pays for itself. So yeah, that's you really should fun. follow your passion. I, yeah, it's, I mean, it's really fun. So you only get one shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's it's a nice balance where I'm like, yeah, I'd like to be full time if ideally I could. But it's nice that I make enough that I can go home and be like, okay, so what do I want to make next? That's so amazing. It's really rewarding in that. Way. A lot of people are told don't follow dreams or your passions and that's the only thing you should be following yeah and unless so, your dream is to kill people that's different but, yeah, you know, don't do that. <laughs> but it, it's really rewarding and nice because like I didn't even know cosplay was a thing when I was younger so it's something that I kind of stumbled into and then fell in love with so I mean follow your dreams you never know what job may or may not exist for you yet um, that's right. just do what you like and see what happens okay. I talked about this is that, is that the, is that the... whoa so it comes apart with magnets cool. so I can do the Oh my god. That is very cool. It just, when it's on the hips, it likes to stick to my rivets. <laughs> yeah. They're also metal. That. But. Now, is that, is that, is that on the 3D printer? Yes, yeah, so this and these are all 3D printed because they were so delicate. I was afraid of falling apart. Yeah. Um, but this is leather wrapped over EVA falls. This is just leather fabric. It's not like a big leather. So. And then it's all hand painted to be the same brand. Do you have like any like website links or anything that you want to? Yes. So I am Oddbell on pretty much every platform. If you search it with an O and then on Twitter, it is with a zero because someone took my username first. Uh, so I'm pretty much on everything and I can also give you guys a card as well if you would like to link it. Okay. Do you have anything else that you would like to plug? It's your interview. Um, I don't know. Just cosplay and have a fun time. Not everything has to look professional. Just... Have a good, fun time at a convention. Don't worry about it too much and just enjoy it. Conventions are great. It's a fun time and it's a good time to meet friends and connect with people. They think order and chaos are somehow opposites and try to control what won't. I used to fuck guys like you in prison. <laughs>